most people talk about neutrals in vague terms like I like warm grays over cool grays or use cool colors with cool whites. No, you'll notice that this is not useful at all. That's why I invented the neutral color wheel. Because these are nine of the most common neutral undertones you'll find in soft and hard finishes inside and outside your home, I've created this handy visual guide that you can take with you anywhere. It's a simple portable tool made with real paint. What is a neutral color wheel? Well, today I'm gonna to walk you through exactly how it works and how to use it. After conducting hundreds of in-home color consultations at the beginning of my career, I started to notice a pattern. All neutrals fit into these nine categories. Everywhere I went, they always worked. Starting with pink beige, orange beige, yellow beige, gold beige, green beige, green gray, blue gray, violet gray, and taupe. This means it's the perfect representation of the nine neutrals in light to dark ranges, giving you a total of 18 colors you can use to identify the correct neutral in whatever you're looking at. On the front of the wheel, you'll notice that the colors on the inside are the same as the outside. We're just giving you a lighter and darker version of each undertone with the exception of yellow beige and gold beige because gold beige is the darker version of yellow beige. If you're new to my system, you can spin the wheel and point the arrow to the undertone and it'll reveal a short description. That is the only thing that the spinning wheel does. It doesn't spit out split complementary triads. That's not what this does. The usefulness of my wheel does not end at the front. Turn it around to the back and you'll see the four most useful whites. There are hundreds and seemingly thousands of whites, but I found very early on that the most useful whites fall into blue whites, true whites, off whites, and cream. So then you can place this down to see where am I? Am I an off white? Am I in cream? And then you can make better decisions once you know that about white. If you're updating an interior that has existing hard finishes, you'll want this tool to help you choose the right neutrals by identifying the undertone in the carpet, in the countertop, and in your tile. Or if you're decorating or building a new house, you'll want to take the color wheel with you to help keep you on track so you don't end up with a mishmash of too many neutrals. If you're thinking about buying the wheel or you've already bought it, it's because you've made mistakes in the past where your backsplash didn't go with your countertop, didn't go with your floor. So this wheel is designed to take you 80% there. It's immediately gonna eliminate all the colors that aren't working because they just won't match the colors on the wheel, right? You'll be down to maybe a couple different beiges that look like they're close or maybe a gray or a taupe. And then testing is the next important step from there. The real paint colors on this wheel are custom. And remember, it's not important to know what each of the paint color names are. What's important is that this is to be used as a tool to identify the undertone. And you can find the equivalent in Sherwin-Williams or Benjamin Moore or Farron Ball on the links below. And then if you want the full list of my curated system paint colors, you can get them in either of my two eBooks. Want to learn more? You'll find hundreds of blog posts at mariakillam.com to help you make the most beautiful and timeless decorating choices for your home.